Hello all, Razorflamekun here, and this is going to be a short let's play of Reseteer, which is a indie game that has you manning your own item shop and selling items to adventurers for profit. I'm going to be showing you the endless mode. I'm going to be showing you several days of endless mode, so let's begin. The basic premise of this game is you going into, you, you own your own shop and what you want to do is you want to buy items as cheaply as possible and sell items as expensive as possible. I'll, I'll show you how to do that in a, in a little bit. Now I, I just need to, holy crap alone this is going slow. Anyways, I'm gonna go um, here. Um, you don't need to worry about this. Okay, three days. Just, to, just don't worry about that for right now. That's, that's just me checking something. Um, as you can see, you have a s shop that has a certain number of displays that you can use to display items, and then when you walk behind a counter, you can open up your shop and start selling stuff to people and I'm gonna be showing that right now you what, you what you do is you come over here to where the exclamation mark is and then you press X and then press a, um, Z and then press Z again and you open your shop now this game is running slowly because I'm recording at the same time but normally this game runs faster but you don't need to worry about it here is the main thing about this game reset is the owner of the shop and the person on the right is the buyer of the item now the item that he's buying is in the target window what you want to do is you want to sell it for as much as possible I usually start around 132 percent and wow he actually bought it normally they don't buy items that quickly um, they usually haggle a little bit to make it go lower anyways this is the main premise of the game um, they can all once you reach a certain point in the game they'll also start selling you items and what you want to do is you want to sell them or you want to buy them from them for as low as possible for, so for in, in that instance I wanted to buy that for around 35 to 40 percent of its value so that I can go ahead and turn a profit and reload and um, sell it for another sell it to another person for a huge profit and we got another person that's selling something and she wants a little more, so I'll give her a little more. Yay! I managed to buy that piece of candy for 130 picks when the base price is 300. And this this continues until the uh, another person selling something. Uh, I hate this little girl. She always wants more. And that's what happens when you haggle badly. They will walk out on you, and that's bad. There are, mon there are a bunch of different um, people that can come into your shop, and this is one of them. It's a robot, but I don't have any weapons to give her, so I can't sell her the weapon. Anyways, this, this goes on for a while. And yay, she wants to buy my silver armor. This what this housewife here never buys items very for very much money. And holy crap. She actually bought that for more than I was expecting. I was expecting to have to haggle with haggle with her down to about 115% of the item's value instead of 120. And this little girl also is really a pain because she you have to sell it for really low like 114 percent which is really low but it's still you still turn a profit anyways this is how the game works and that's the end of that section of time so 
I just wanted to bring you a little video about this game and bring you a little awareness about this game. This is a really fun game. It's, um, you can buy it on Steam. It's $20 and it's well worth the price. So I just wanted to bring this to you. So until next time, this has been Razor Flame. Couldn't make all of your days shine brightly.